now that we have learnt about congruency rules connected with congruency of two triangles let's apply the rules in real life today's session is about applications of congruency rules in solving mathematical problems applications of congruency rules all sss asa sas rhs aas are the various types of congruency rules which we have discussed till date so let's apply into the problems given for example i have a triangle say for example i have a triangle a b and c and let me say the altitudes of the two sides are equal that is when i take the altitude from b to ac this is the perpendicular drop onto the side ac is how we define altitude the altitude from b to ac is bd and similarly let me drop an altitude from c to ab say here so i have an altitude which is ce is how i understand the altitudes bd and ce now let's connect this with the question which says the two altitudes are given to be equal prove that for the given triangle with equal altitudes for the given triangle with equal altitudes ac and bd the triangle is isosceles this is the question i have given that the altitudes are equal i have to show that the entire triangle is isosceles let's see how we can define the isosceles property using congruency rules now let's try to prove the isosceles property using congruency rules as we have learned in the previous session as clearly we see that abc is a triangle and ec and bd are the altitudes which are given to be equal in triangle abc it is given that the altitude ec equals bd is given and angle d bda is equal to cea which is 90 degrees is how we have the two properties connected with the given problem now let me take the two triangles bec and cdb and c and so that we prove that they are congruent let's consider bec and cdb and prove that the two triangles are congruent to each other let's take triangle bec and triangle bdc so in these two triangles clearly i have bd equals ec or my ec is equal to bd since it is given that the altitudes are equal so the two sides of the two triangles 
triangle BEC and triangle BDC must be equal. Next, I have this to be 90 degrees. Therefore, my angle the other side also must be 90. Therefore, angle BEC is equal to angle BDC which is equal to 90 degrees as how I see the perpendicular altitudes. Similarly, if I take the triangle BEC, my side BC is nothing but the same side for the triangle BDC. That is, the side BC is the common side for triangle BEC and triangle BDC. And hence, obviously, they must be equal to each other, equal to itself. BC of the triangle BEC must be equal to the BC of the triangle BDC since it is the common side and this being since altitudes. It is very important that we write the reason for what we write out here. The reason here being the altitudes because it is altitudes it is equal to 90. This equals this because it is given and this equals this because they are the common sides for the two triangles, triangle BEC and triangle BDC is how we understand the property. Next, clearly I see that this is the right angle and this is the hypotenuse and this is the side connecting the two triangles. Therefore, the right angle, the hypotenuse and the sides being equal makes me recollect the RHS axiom. Therefore, by RHS axiom, therefore, by RHS axiom, right angle, hypotenuse and side, I get the property which you have learned in the previous session by RHS axiom triangle BEC is congruent to triangle BDC. Therefore, when I prove that the two triangles BEC and BDC are congruent, indirectly I mean that the two triangles are equal in all respects. Therefore, this triangle is equal to this triangle in equal respects. We utilize this triangle concept now to prove that the two triangles are isosceles. So let us see how we can prove the isosceles property for two triangles. Imagine I continue here that area of triangle ABC is equal to triangle ABC because the two triangles are the common triangles. So this being the common triangle they are equal to each other. Now as I see here my triangle ABC can be split as AEC plus BEC. So this triangle can be split as triangle AEC plus triangle BEC as can be clearly seen here. Similarly on the right hand side my triangle ABC can also equally be split as AEC or ABD plus BDC. So I split it as ABD plus triangle BDC is how I split the two triangles being congruent to each other. Now clearly I proved that triangle BEC is congruent to triangle BDC which are equal in all respects. Now because these two triangles are equal I can cancel the two triangles which are exactly equal in size. So two equal quantities can be striked off on the two sides of the equation. Therefore triangle AEC is congruent to triangle ABD. So indirectly I get my triangle ABD and AEC are the two triangles which are congruent 
to each other. Therefore, they are equal in all respects. Now, since the two triangles are equal in all respects, their side AB must be equal to side AC. Therefore, AB of triangle A BD must be equal to AC of triangle AEC. So AB equals AC equals AB. Therefore, this AC which connects the whole triangle ABC is indirectly equal to the side AB connected to the whole triangle ABC. Therefore, for triangle ABC, Side AC is equal to AB that implies the two sides are equal and hence the triangle is isosceles. That implies triangle ABC is isosceles triangle is how I conclude the proof using congruency rule. If a triangle has two equal altitudes, then the triangle must be isosceles. That's how I make the learning outcome. Therefore, my learning outcome here is that if a triangle has two equal altitudes, has two equal altitudes then the triangles the triangle must be isosceles is how I understand the learning outcome if a triangle has two equal altitudes, then the triangle must be isosceles. And this can be proved using congruency rules, what we have learned in the previous session. Applications of congruency rules connected with the properties. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.